Welcome back to boardshop.co.uk, another how-to video for you today. Uh, following the how to install your leash video is how to install a tail pad correctly. Um, again, depending on the board you surf, tail pads are vital, non-vital, personal preference. Uh, there's some key tips and tricks on how to put them on um, and the safest way because you can be very picky on how you put these on. Uh, so I'm just going to go through that and uh, what to do and what not to do. So here we go. Firstly, picking your pad for the board is the right thing. You're seeing a mid length here, seven, a se sorry, a seven O, Harley and we mid six. And with this, I have chosen a four piece weekender pad from Rob Machado because it's flat, it's completely flat. And if you're surfing on a short board or if like, again, personal preference comes into it, some people like kicks, arches in the middle, some people like it to feel minimal but want the grip. That's what I'm going for here is on a board like this, I don't really want a high kick arch, but I do want some grip over that back foot and to know where my back foot is and know that it's in the right place. So I've gone for that. Um, what I'd say on this is, Simple thing, people say move the, the pad as far back as possible. That's not necessarily correct on every board. Um, you want your foot over the fins. Generally you surf this as a quad, so you're gonna want your foot in the middle. On a board like this as well, you will move your feet about. So generally what I'll do is I'll kind of eye that up, fill it, follow it round onto the rail as a rough guide, and that lands there, which then gives me my first piece of the pad that I could put on. And you know, that's telling you about there. What I'm gonna do with that though, is this is a four piece, this is a big pad. So with the way this works, I'm gonna give myself enough coverage. So I am gonna move this back because then, knowing my foot's gonna be about there, if I'm right back over, covered, if I'm a bit further forward, covered. Um, tips and tricks to stick your pad is, obviously once you've got the space in and where you want it to go correct, you don't want to lose that. And I've seen people draw on their boards and do all, all crazy stuff. Um, you don't need to. Once you've got one pad in position, so I'm happy with that one, you know, it's just just right of the stringer as I'm looking at it. Hold it in position, fold this over, and then like you did with your old stickers, and I learned this from Julian Wilson, so you can't argue with me. So you just peel the top and do that. Now that's held in place for you, you can then pull this off. Obviously as well, a tip is make sure the board is clean. Uh, if you've de-waxed your board to stick one on, make sure it's completely free of wax and any other grub. And if it's a new board, still give it a little wipe because you know you could get dust and stuff on there, it can affect it. But that's, that's exactly where I wanted it perfectly positioned, didn't move, didn't need to draw on my board, didn't need to do anything crazy. It's uh, it's on there and, and good. And then we can look at getting the other side matched up. Again, once I'm happy with it, generally it's easier to get the corners. Uh, most people own nails, I don't because I bite them. What a pig. Uh, and then again, get that stuck down. Happy with that. Peel it back. And I try and catch it and make sure I put it down evenly and softly and I can compress it down so you don't get any air under there or any bubbles or anything like that at all. And then your pad is on. And then you know that's in position. And then obviously with these front two, which I'll do for you as well, you can, you can again, again work it with a little gap. That's what I'm going to do. Um, you can obviously have them tight or enclosed uh, or further its personal preference. Um, and that is how you stick a pad. But uh, let's grip this one. So again, I just peeled the top half of that, as you can see, just like that basically, that's what you want. And then you can put it down on the non-stuck half, fold it over, make sure it's where you want it. And you've got a lot more precision with your placement. You can do it the other way as well. You can peel off the back first and go back to front uh, or bottom to top, whichever way you want to call it but there you go that's sticking your pad for you guys uh, any questions please let us know please keep an eye out for more of these how-to videos uh, we're going to be doing a series for you like i said i've done the leash uh, and how to do that we're going to go through some other things like waxing your board so make sure you subscribe and follow us for for more tips and tricks 
and uh, we'll see you out there with perfectly placed tail pads, perfectly installed leashes, cracking wax jobs as well. And uh, if you have any questions, please comment, please email us, ring us. But there is, look at that, proud of that one. There she is.